When we start researching a potential site for a solar farm, we're always careful to consider the local community and the environment, so much so that we develop fewer than one in a hundred of the sites we look at. We carry out a detailed feasibility study of every site, selecting only those that can be effectively screened from view to minimise impact on the character of the landscape and visual impact for homeowners. During the planning phase, we write to local people to let them know about the possible development, with information on how they can contact us and where they can find further details. We'll hold a drop-in session in a local hall so we can answer questions face-to-face and explain the whole process. And we create a specific website page for each site, so everyone can see exactly where it might be located and contact us with their questions at any time. A landscape and visual impact study may make suggestions to enhance planting around the solar farm, to ensure that it is well screened and any enhanced boundary planting will effectively hide the development from most views. We worked with the Solar Trade Association to produce the STA 10 Commitments. This is a set of principles to guide the responsible development of solar farms. You can read more about this initiative on our website.